fundraisers for conservation. Now, one of them, such as SANCOP, S-A-N-C-C-O-B, which helps the African penguins and other coastal birds. So with no further turn, what the, how many of you watch Secrets of the Zoo? Put your hand up. Then you may recognize Mr. Kevin here. So Mr. Kevin, take it away. All right, well, once again, my name is Kevin. I'm one of the keepers that takes care of our wonderful, humble penguins here at the zoo. And right now, we actually have 14 penguins here in our colony. Of those 14, every single one of them is considered an adult penguin. Now, our youngest penguin is actually Bruce Banner. He's got a dark green band on his right wing. Uh, and he was named after the Hulk because uh, when he was a baby, he went ahead and would get really angry and just try and destroy everything around him. Um, but he is still considered an adult, even though he is right around two years old. So right around uh, penguins, when they hatch out, they're a little bit smaller than the palm of my hand. However, they grow very, very quickly. They gain about 30% of their body weight a day uh, when they first hatch out. And so by the time that they are two months of age, they are full grown and ready to go. At three months of age, they are completely self-reliant and mom and dad have nothing to do uh, with their care after that point. So uh, all of these guys are looking around for uh, their boyfriends and girlfriends. So we have uh, a couple of, oh, one of the questions that we always get is how we can tell our penguins apart. So if you look at their wings, you'll notice they all have bands. If the band is on their right wing, then that means that they're a boy. If it's on their left wing, that means that they're a girl. And then if they have a matching color, then that means that they are a bonded pair, or basically a little married couple. Now we do have a trussel right here, and then our longest pair um, here at the, the at the penguin habitat is actually our dark blue banded pair, and that is Hans and Katja Blufkins, and they have been together since 1998, so they've been together a very long time. Uh, in addition to that, we do have some bachelors and bachelorettes in here looking for their boyfriends and girlfriends. We've got some um, that have kind of decided that they're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend, but they haven't fully uh, paired up yet. Um, the Honorable Cheddar McFluff Esquire with the orange band on his right wing. He is dating uh, Shara McSnugglebun, who has a light blue band on her left wing. She has shot during the toilet paper crisis of 2020, so that's how she got her name. Um, we have Professor Phineas Sprinklebottom right here with the purple band on his right wing. Uh, Acela right here with the thin black band on her left wing is actually trying to go ahead and court him. However, he is not super interested, so we'll see where that leads. Um, hopefully, they'll go ahead and pair up. Phineas is more interested in us than he is um, all the other penguins. We also have Malia, who has a thick black band on her left wing right in front of me here. Um, and she is actually very interested in Bruce Banner. Um, however, they have not officially paired up either. Bruce is still, still trying to figure out exactly uh, what being an adult penguin means. So all of these guys are part of what's called an SSB, which stands for Species Survival Plan. And basically what that is, is it's basically a match.com, but for all the different animals. So here at the zoo, there's all sorts of different uh, SSPs, like the polar bears and the tigers, but these guys work a little bit different. And the reason for that is once they pair up, they'll typically stay with their, their mate the entire life. So whereas a polar bear, if they go from a zoo to zoo, they'll typically go by themselves. Naturally, like they would in the wild, they're gonna go ahead and find a new mate. But these guys will typically go with a mate if they go to another zoo, or they'll just stay at the same zoo. So we've had a lot of our penguins for quite some time. We've also uh, shipped some of our bachelors and bachelor out, bachelorettes out to other zoos to go ahead and find uh, mates at those other zoos. So if you go to a zoo that has humble penguins, there's a really good chance that you'll find uh, penguins that hatched out here in Columbus, because we've had actually over 30 chicks hatch out here since we started breeding in 1997. So there's a really good chance that uh, you will see some other penguins that, that came Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Zachariah Shoop, and what did you think about that penguin talk? Pretty cool, right? Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed uh, the talk that the zookeeper was giving, and I thought that the penguins were kind of comical in how they were trying to get the fish that the zookeeper was giving them. Uh, Humboldt penguins got their name by the naturalist and explorer Alexander von Humboldt, and they live off of the coast of Peru and Chile more information about Humboldt penguins in the description below so make sure you check it out and uh, once the video was recording it must have ran out of uh, memory on my phone because it just like stopped and uh, that's why you're seeing my face in a clothing segment
closing segment that is being added to the video. So, as always, be blessed, stay safe, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video.